One of the key theoretical models that every secure system, and not just the ones that use FortiGate should adopt, is the CIA model. And no, we are not talking about the Central Intelligence Agency. We are talking about a secure model that holds three key principles for any secure system. So what is the CIA model? Coming up. To get more easy setup tips for your FortiGate firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. So what is the CIA model and what does it have to do with your FortiGate? Well, it is actually a triad, a triad with three key components. The first one is confidentiality, the privacy of your data. The second one is integrity, making sure that no one tampers with your data. And the third component is availability. Make sure that your data keeps flowing and there is continuity all over. Our job as security experts is to protect that triad. If you understand the CIA model, you understand how information systems are kept secure. So let's start with confidentiality. If someone can see or can view your private data without your knowledge, then data confidentiality is broken. An attacker can get hold of your secret key and decrypt your encrypted traffic. For that purpose, you have to encrypt your traffic with the highest available algorithm and make sure that no one gets hold of your secret key. And then there's integrity. Integrity breach can be much worse than just about anything. Imagine that someone sees your traffic, even if it is encrypted. He can potentially tamper with your data and fit it with false information. Now, when we speak of integrity, the three things that we need to think about is has someone tampered with your data? How can I be sure that the data is actually belongs to the one whom I believe that I speak with? And how do I protect data integrity? One of the ways that we protect data integrity is the usage of hashes. Remember, if someone can modify your private data without your knowledge, data integrity is broken. An attacker can modify the encrypted bitstream bit by bit and change the authenticity of that stream. The third component is availability. If someone can overwhelm your system or your users can't access your services, then data availability is broken. One major and known attack on availability is a denial of service. Now let's look how FortiGate treats each component. So let's move over and see where confidentiality, integrity and availability is being used in our FortiGate. Well, to create a confidential tunnel, confidential channel, we usually use VPNs. We can use an IPsec VPN and we can use an SSL VPN tunnel or portal. So if we will head over to the IPsec wizard and create uh, a site, no, let's create a branch VPN. And we can see that in both phase one 
And phase two, we can use different algorithms. We can use different encryption algorithms, starting from DES up to AES-256. And we can also use for integrity hash functions such as SHA-256, MD5, or SHA-512. We also use encryption algorithms and hash function for confidentiality and integrity in our SSL VPN portals. We cannot choose the type of algorithm in our GUI, but we can do it using CLI. So, so if we we'll use config SSL, sorry, config VPN SSL settings, we can set the algorithm, choose between just about any algorithm, but we can force it to use uh, algorithms that are higher than 128 bit uh, keys, such as AES 100. And 92. So that's how we use confidentiality. That's how we use encryption algorithms uh, in our FortiGate using SSL VPN and IPsec. We can see the usage of encryption, that is confidentiality and integrity, also in our certificates. We use certificates to be sure that the other side is the one that claims to be the one that we speak to. And so we use um, encryption in our case or in any case where we use certificates. It is an asymmetric encryption. We can see in our certificate stores, we can see certificate that comes from eBay, Amazon, and any other secure site. And certificate always contains the hash signature which ensures us the integrity of that certificate and also uses the public key that will be used to encrypt a negotiation between the two parties. So we have different certificate. We can also see in, let's look at the keychain and let's open And here we can see an Apple certificate that uh, lies in my uh, MacBook certificate store. We can see, actually we can see the public key itself if we just click it. And we can also see that it, it uses a SHA-256 and a SHA-1 as hash signatures. Now, uh, the last component was availability. So if we jump over to the IPv4 denial of service policy, we can see that uh, FortiGate can actually monitor your network traffic for different behavior, different anomalies that it finds. It can look for SYN flows, it can look for UDP flows, uh, which are used for a denial of service attack. It does so using its IPS engine. And speaking of the IPS engine, its main purpose in life is to protect your systems uh, and make sure that no availability breach can happen either by a denial of service attack or any other breach that can cause your system damage.